Glenn and Courtney, yeah, that is all after there were protests here at the sheriff's station last night. Well, today, family of the man who was shot and killed, as well as their legal representation, they're calling for the deputies who uh, shot and killed him to be arrested and criminally prosecuted, as authorities say that this man who was shot, he assaulted a deputy, they allege, and also was in possession of a firearm. They say they are investigating, but here is that man, 29 year old Dijon Kizzi, he's identified by family. Now this all happened yesterday afternoon around 315 in the Westmont area. LA County Sheriff's officials say the two deputies were driving on Budlong Avenue when they spotted a man riding his bicycle in violation of vehicle codes. When they tried to stop him, they allege he ran. Deputies pursued. They accused the man of punching one of the deputies and dropping a bundle of clothes. In them, deputies spotted a handgun. They say both deputies opened fire. Dijon Kazi pronounced dead at the scene. His aunt speaking out today. My nephew was sweet. He loved his mom and his little brother. Dude, this is not America. This is ridiculous. I don't know what we're living in. What kind of society? We're all human. We are stopped way too many times and harassed in our own community. A bicycle traffic stop led to this man's death being shot and killed. Overnight, a crowd gathered at the scene and then outside the L.A. County Sheriff's Department South L.A. station to protest the man's death. More than 100 demonstrators, according to the L.A. Times, demanding answers. A spokesperson for Dijon Kazee's attorney says deadly force could and should have been avoided. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says deputies involved will be off the streets for at least five days during multiple investigations into their conduct, part of standard procedure, and they're pledging a thorough investigation. To see exactly what happened and transpired during the deputy involved shooting. But if this individual was reaching for a semi automatic handgun, I would suggest that, you know, they, that's probably why deadly force was employed. Now, the spokesperson for the family's representation is also uh, asking for the names of the deputies involved to be released and asking the LA County Board of Supervisors to fast track the rollout of body cams on deputies. For now, that's the very latest live here in South LA. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.